This is tutorial number three, and it covers extruding cut within SOLIDWORKS. For this tutorial, we're going to use the parts that we made in tutorial two to extrude cut through them. Now, to start off, let's click the front plane, click front view, and let's sketch a circle on the biggest square. And that red dot is the midpoint of that line. So let's make a circle right there and continue it out to the point. Click Enter. Click OK. Now click Feature. Click Extrude Cut. Now click Isometric View. So now you can see where the extrude cut is going. Now on the extrude cut, just like the extrude base, I'm not going to cover all of them. In this one, I'm going to cover the blind extrude cut, through all, up to surface, and midplane. Up to next, up to vertex, and up to body are exactly the same as the up to surface again, so you can see how I do the up to surface and do the other ones just as well. So the first one, let's click blind, and just like the extrude blind, the extrude cut blind, as you increase it, it gets bigger, and as you decrease it, it gets smaller, the cut. For this cut, let's make it 100 millimeters. Click Enter. You see the preview. And we like it, so click OK. And now we've cut 100 millimeters into it. Now, click Front View. Click the front plane. Click Sketch. Click Line. And this time, let's make a triangle inside the smaller square. Okay. Now, accept the drawing. Now, right click the sketch, click Edit Sketch, click Features, Extrude Cut. For this one, we're going to do the Through All. Click Through All. And for this, you can see the preview that it's going behind our drawing. It's not where we want it to go. So to flip it, you click the reverse direction, and it flips direction. With the through all feature, whatever the surface is or the body, it's going to go all the way through it. So with the blind, we can pick how far we want to go into the body. With the through all, it's a cut through everything. So. We don't have to define any length or dimension. It's going to go all the way through that square. We see the preview, and it's the right direction and orientation. Now click OK, and we've cut the triangle all the way through. Now click Front View, click Front Plane, click Sketch, click Rectangle, and for this, we're going to make the circle half a circle. So click up there, click the Add Relations button, click one line, click the other, and let's make them equal. Click OK. Now click Feature, click Extrude Cut, and for this one we're going to do it up to surface. Click the up to surface again. And for this, we can click it up to this surface, or we can click it up to that surface. Depends which way we want it to go. So let's do it backwards. Let's do it that way. We like it like that. Click OK, and we've extrude cut it. Now, click front, click the front plane, click sketch, click circle, and this time let's go into the center of the circle. With a circle to find the center, put your pointer on the outside, leave it there, and then you'll see the four points for the four outside points, and then the inside point is the dead center of the circle. 
So let's draw a smaller circle on the dead center of the circle. And let's make the radius 10 millimeters. Click Enter. Click OK. Now let's cut the circle out. Click Feature. Click Extrude Cut. And this time let's do a mid-plane cut. Now click inside the SOLIDWORKS and let's zoom out so we can see what our cut looks like. And as you can see, like the extrude, extruded base, there's the green circle and the two yellow circles. As you increase it, it increases, and as you decrease it, it decreases. Now for this, let's zoom out a bit and let's make it go all the way to the end. So let's type in 400. And now from the preview, we can see that's going to go all the way through, this, through the circle. We like it. Let's press OK. And now we've cut through the midplane, through the whole circle. Click front. And you can see it went all the way through. Click isometric. And that concludes our tutorial on extruding cut.